Hey, this is Frankie, and I'm taking the joy route. Um, it's the Memorial Day weekend, and I want to give you all a minivan, my camper van, minivan, a tour. So I'm going to give you all, and I'm also going to let you see my van bed. So this, so you're going to get a minivan, camper van tour, and also I'm going to let you see my van, my latest van bed build. Keep in mind though, I left the hotel, I was at my cousin's, I haven't taken my stuff to storage yet. Um, today, this weekend is my youngest son birthday, so we're all going to do, I'm going to buy him lunch, but we're going to do it like at a park or something like that. So today, I won't be taking this stuff to storage, depending on how long I spend with my youngest son, and also my oldest son is going to join us. So this stuff is crowded in, and I'm on my journey to becoming a minimalist. Um, I have a small storage. Um, it needs to be cleaned out, and I'm working on that daily, but I'm going to take some stuff, but I have more room that I can put more stuff. So I'm going to, my van, my mini camper van living does not consist of clutter I don't want to take everything I own with me I'm gonna be giving you a tour as I talk I don't want to take everything with me when I take trips I don't have to I have a storage I pay about $60 for my storage maybe $65 and for me right now I do need a storage because if I'm somewhere and this is a good running van but if I'm somewhere I've had a couple of friends where their vans are YouTubers where their vans have broken down and they've had to leave everything or most of everything they own and that they're carrying with them. And so I'm going to carry just what I need. Now I want to give you all my cousin and I, well, let me start, let me start. And if I miss anything, be sure to read the description because usually I'm just filming and talking and I might miss something. So my cousin um, and I, we built the bed. My son came over, but he had a lot of stuff to do. So it's basically just my cousins who are all ladies working on this bed. Now, what we did was they, what we messed up with, we messed up with a couple of things. For one, if you all, some of you may remember, and I'll, and I'll put some photos, my bed was really low to the ground. So it's about half of this, okay? And so I wanted it to be higher because I wanted my you know that make my knees more comfortable but what happened is it's too high when we put the mattress on my I still can sit up in the van like my head does a little bit it's close to um, it's close to this up here but it's not I still can sit in this bed the fabric hanging there we're gonna fix that I have some spray stuff also my cousin said she's gonna paint some mirror murals in here and do like some words or whatever so anyway with this bed we ended up as you can see uh, my friend um, Lamont told me a long time ago to put Jacob's ladder these plaits or slacks under this bed so that the bed would be more sturdier uh, but these slacks I have to get them cut off um, they were too long Our, we couldn't get the chainsaw or the saw to work and they're also on the other side and that cuts down the amount of room I have and also it's not comfortable on my legs so we got to get these I'm going to get this cut off I'm also going to have to get these legs chopped down just a little bit now under my bed ow you see that I have my knee cracked. I have my crates, my crates of food. My cousin gave me this jewelry. I don't want it, and I told her that, but she put it together because it was something she had, and um, she she was just kind of, I don't know, she wanted me to take it, but I told her it's too heavy, so I don't want to keep it. I'm going to be taking it to storage. Also, but I have a lot of room under here. If you see down here, and I'll go from the back angle, and I'll talk about the bed as well. I apologize if I'm jumping around, and I hope that you all can hear me pretty well. Okay, so let's show in here. Now, I want to say this was a futon mattress. We cut it in half and sewed it up. 
and as you all can see i got a sheet on my bed this is a twin size sheet it's not hanging over anything this fits my mattress perfectly and the blanket that i have on there right now is a blanket from harbor freight and that blanket it's a you know a moving blanket but it fits perfectly inside this pillowcase that zips up i have my sleeping bag let me try to open it i have to put the camera down for a second hold on i'm sorry the sheet so that's all i need right there i have another drawer she just gave me these drawers and what i have in here is aluminum foil and stuff i don't need this a much aluminum foil um <clears throat> my books these pans and my roll pro i don't even need as many pans as i have because i have some pans in the other store so i need to get rid of that wait a minute oh i'm sorry guys let me help put it down again just one okay. so are we back recording yeah so this is my duffel bag with clothes and this is i wear a lot of head wraps and hats you know those hats when i'm out like today is very hot and i have like hats and head wraps in here here is my bucket um right here you see my bucket and um that's why i need these slacks cut off because i have to be able to you know use my bucket and which i don't use well i'm not even gonna get in that um so here's the slacks here's what we put on there we did the best job we could but again the legs are too long and so i can't zip this pillowcase up right now but i've made myself this bed I slept in this bed last night. Let me tell you, it is very comfortable. I like it high, except if my van was a little bit higher, I would probably keep it this high. But I am not going to. Right in this area, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this area. I don't want all this stuff. I can't do clutter. And so on my journey to minimalism, my cousin gave me this, which is a, um, a spray thing and I put water in it. I guess I got to fill it up because I couldn't get it to work. This is a brand new thing she ordered for me. Uh, this jug of water. I bought this because I'm old school and I'm going to fill this up with ice and um, I always got alcohol. This is like a, you know, my little cleaning bucket if you want to look at it like that. Um, I'm going to travel with weights because I like to, you know, lift weights. When you get my age, 50 years old, you got to hit them wings on your arm but as y'all can see my bed i hope this is giving a good view my van bed is really nice um, i'm gonna do some stuff to fix up this van this is just like i said i'm meeting my youngest son today to get him some lunch for his birthday and i just wanted to you know how i just wanted to clean up my van a little bit make the bed there's my laptop where i sit there and do my work again i can sit in here comfortably but my head is just right at it before my head i had plenty of room with my head my cousin suggested getting a thinner mattress but i don't want to because um this mattress feels so good also one of the things i do i lift this up like i fold it over and i sit down and that works too but again i am going to get the legs chopped down because your van is your home and you want it to be as comfortable as possible. Um, I sit here and I work. Um, there it is. I sit there and I work. What's going to go in this area, though, is going to be my camping tent. I'm going to figure out how. I do like this bag. Um, many years ago, uh, the company I worked for, I won this bag or whatever. Uh, my friend Lisa gave me this stuff. I'm going to paint it and I'm going to laminate the stuff and I'm going to put it like all up in my van or whatever. You see the ceiling? Again, I have that spray stuff. It's not the best kind because this fabric keeps coming down. I saw another camper van minivan tour where he ripped his down like this fabric but he said that wasn't a smart move and i forgot why he said why but i will be able to get this fabric tucked in i have led lights uh, my ex put them up for me and i think it's kind of like a crappy job but the lights look so pretty at night i slept so comfortably last night you would not believe it so I just wanted to give you, let me make sure everybody see everything. I don't even know if you can see because I can't see there is a glare. But I just want to give you all a tour and see my bed. Oh, I was so comfortable. I was so comfortable. Let me tell you, I'm wishing everybody have a safe and healthy weekend. 
um thank you for coming along on this journey i appreciate my new subs i caught my sub friends joy riders and um as always i am taking the joy route so again today i'm meeting my son at two o'clock I'm going to go up the street. There's a car wash. I'm going to get the car wash. I'm not going to have time to go to storage, but the next tour that I give you all, you will see that I'm much more organized. I just spent like two hours working through this stuff, not to mention the several hours I spent yesterday at my cousin's house working through. So it's very important that I downsize and everything like that. Um, here's some stuff right here. Here comes the car. I've been out in this parking lot walking, working. I'm getting ready to wash this stuff. Can you see these bags? I'm just, this was the carpet I'm washing. This is junk I'm throwing away. And here are my clothes and stuff that I'm getting ready to wash. A lot of this stuff, I'm not even, I'm taking it to storage. So, and also I'm going to have a cur curtain hanging down here. Up here, you see up here, I'm going to have a curtain hanging down. Because last night I was sleeping with the bed being higher. People... Cause if they wanted to they could see me I don't have a curtain or anything I'm also going to get a sun visor thing up here so let me end this for now again wishing you all a safe and happy uh, holiday and um, read the description because I usually answer like if my videos aren't clear I try to answer what I missed out is I rewatch the video to do a little editing and I try to fix whatever I left out or didn't describe um, this is a tube box. Let me show you this real quick. This is a tube bag. I bought it from Harbor Freight. I don't have tools in it. I got junk in it that I'm taking to storage. But I'm going to keep this tube bag with me. It rolls. So I can use it as a gym bag because it really doesn't look like a tool bag. It looks like, like an airport bag you might carry through the airport or carry in your laptop at work or something like that. So I'm going to get the junk out of there. And so I got, I got big plans, y'all. I have big plans. Take the joy route. Take the joy route. My aunt gave me this pillow. Look at my pillow. Put it on my bed. Beyond bless. Beyond bless. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Take the joy route. This is my youngest son, Phoenix. And uh, I am taking him to get something to eat on his birthday. He was born on Memorial Week, Memorial Day weekend. And this is my youngest son. Say hello, Phoenix. Hello. We're talking about energy we draw. The good energy, the negative energy. As an enterologist, energy is so important. And that's what we're sitting here talking about. Take the jury route.